don't You don't know. So who ate them all? Someone come around and ate the cakes. Yeah. So someone broke into a home and ate Mr. Kipling's angel slices. Didn't take the TV, didn't take, you know, some jewellery. They took these cakes. And it was a black man. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, the super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You're far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, Nikki Hillary finally won her first primary. Yes, yes, she did it. She did it. Let's give her a round of applause. You go, girl. Nikki Hillary, she won her first primary. And she won a district, which is full of swamp monsters, full of rhino monsters. She won D.C. What? Yes. The place where there's the least conservative is full of liberals, full of liberal Republicans. This is the district she won, and she's proud of it. Fourteen people in the race. I defeated a dozen of the fellas. I just said... <laughs> I just have one more fella I got to catch up to. Yes, yes, yes. There was over 2,000 votes, and she won 63% of 2,000 votes. You go, girl. Americans want a voice, and we're giving them that voice. And as long as Americans want me to be that voice, I will continue to fight for them. <laughs> the fuck? Yes, ma'am, you are on the way. Super Tuesday is coming up tomorrow. And yeah, you got momentum, girl. You won DC. You sure gonna show us. Man, oh man. It's funny that um Gaston Newsom, the the governor for California, he said something very interesting the other day. Why Democrats would want her out of the race, she's one of our better surrogates. I mean, she's defining the opposition to Trump incredibly effectively. I mean, she's making points I'm applauding every single day about his temperament, his capacity, uh, his, you know, unraveling in real time. Uh, and so I think it's I think she's been incredibly effective. So I hope she stays in personally. Yes, yes. Gaston Newsom did say that she's sort of like an operative. They're rooting for her. All the money that Nikki Henry has been gaining over the last what, few months, it's been Democrats money. <laughs> so she's talking about. Republicans are in her corner. The only Republicans are in the corner are the Bill Crystals, the Mitt Romney, again, the Swamp Monsters, all the lobbyists in D.C. Those are the only ones that's on her side. They're giving her money. But she's not making no real money, no grassroots effort, no real dollars. So she's in it just to pillage, just to grift. And then hopefully after Tuesday, after Super Tuesday, it'll be the end of her. Oh, Lord, she needs to go on, go on somewhere and be somebody, Nikki. Jesus Christ. Uh, but look, at the end of the day, it's Trump. I mean, there's, there's not a state Nikki Haley can win. I mean, let, let's look realistically. You look at this map, I, I, you know, it's beyond me why she wants to continue in this race. But again, I don't want to get in the way with that. I got a funny, interesting uh, poll I seen about the voters, right? Married men. 70% of married men vote conservative or vote for the Republican Party. 60% of married women vote for the Republican Party. On the other side, single men, um, they'll say 56 of single men vote for liberal, for Democrat Party, and 
80% of single women vote Democrats. So it's almost the whole party of the Democrats is, is literally the party for the females. There you go. And now if you're a single black mother, if you're a single mother, Democrats. Because again, it's all about the freebies. It's all about the government taking care of you. You don't need no man, but you still need the government to take care of you. There's the word men and government. <laughs> so either have you cut it, ladies, you still gonna need men to take care of you. Either in your house or cutting you a EBT check. Either way. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. Nikki Hillary, get off my lawn. <laughs>